I'm glad that you brought me on because nobody else is talking about this very serious issue, even though I love Dark Souls. Sekiro is better. The reason why we don't hear Soulsborne fans talking about this is because on YouTube, if you talk about Sekiro, you're going to be suppressed. I'm a little bit nervous even saying this, to be honest. So when you pull up the critique of Dark Souls 2, as you can see from Matthew Matosis here, this has 1.7 million views, but scroll down a little bit and you're going to see H Bomber Guy defend Dark Souls 2 and get 2.4 million views. This is not on accident. This is because the CEO of YouTube, Susan Wojcinski, is promoting this. Bloodborne is genius and here's why. And that's fine, I, I agree. I think that Bloodborne is genius. But here's what happens when you search for Sekiro. Nothing comes up. So you mean to tell me that a veteran, Soulsborne player, isn't gonna have an opinion at all? <laughs> if it is the case that Susan Wojcinski, whatever her name may be, is actually suppressing information about Dark Souls 2 or Sekiro and she's promoting information about Dark Souls 2 and she's silencing critics of Dark Souls 2, this is a gigantic scandal. And I'm the only one who's noticing Nobody else is talking about this. Chris Hayes isn't talking about this. Rachel Maddow isn't talking about this. That's exactly right. And I should point out to our viewers who may not understand this, that you make your living on these big platforms, on YouTube, for example. And for you to come out and say what you've said about them takes a lot of courage, I think. And, I, and I, I'm impressed that you're willing to do that. Too few are. Thank you for saying that. You know, some people are saying that I'm a hero. <laughs> I don't know that I would call myself a hero. Well. Sure, I'd call myself a hero for talking about this, but it is important. You know, I'm the only one who's willing to say after playing Sekiro for a mere 10 hours that it's the best. It's the best out of all of them. And I haven't even finished it yet. So nicely put, as always, it's great to see you. Thank you so much, Tucker. It's nice to see you as well. And I just want to thank you for bringing me on. Tell us more. I do want to show you a little bit about the mechanics that I was talking about. Um, you do have a grappling hook in this, so it just makes the movement a lot more fluid. I just want you to see, Tucker, watch what happens when I take out this enemy. Do you see how satisfying and rewarding that is? It just feels good. And now to get up here, I don't have to walk all the way around. I just grapple up that motherfucker, just like that. Um, now, in this area, usually for me, I'm the type of player, Tucker, where I I just run into things, right? Stealth isn't necessarily my, my forte. It's not my cup of tea. But in this game, I really enjoy it. Rather than just running head first, I mean, I really... Oh, shit! I mean, I really... Oh, shit! So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have uh, five dudes here. Well, that's a lot of dudes. Are you shocked? No, I just explained to you that this is a stealth game. So five enemies in any game would be difficult, but with a stealth game, you're gonna plan your attack strategically. You're not just gonna run into it. Do you even play the Souls games? No. You don't? Okay, well, <laughs> I guess this will be uh, very, very uh, informative for you. So what I'm gonna do is I am probably gonna run up here because that big motherfucker is going to see me. And if the big motherfucker sees me, then I'm dead. Okay? So we want to take him out. This guy right here. Take him out real quick. Almost fucked it up. And then I'm going to come around here. Right? I'm going to try to get up here. Oh. Okay. Now, I'm going to come this way. Jump on this motherfucker's head. Boom! Got him. Pay attention. Tucker. Wake up. Pay attention. Take him out. Make sure the big guy doesn't see me. Uh, okay. This dude might be onto me. So I want to be very careful. I want to make sure that the big one absolutely does not see me. Because if that happens, we're up shit creek without a paddle. We are fucked. Um, so, 
Once he's clear. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Okay. Grab away. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. Now notice the parry there. Notice the parry. Oh, this motherfucker. And that's it. That's how it's done. So I just demonstrated to you the brilliance of Sekiro. In your opinion, Tucker, if you were to play any of the Soulsborne series, they're all great, okay? I'm, I'm not saying that Dark Souls 2, even Dark Souls 2 is bad, but if you were to play any of them, wouldn't you want to play uh, Sekiro first? You're damn right, baby. Just like you like it. Don't call me baby. Not acceptable. Again, Tucker, I want to just thank you so much for bringing me on the show. Um, this really, it's been a pleasure. See, that was one of the weirdest interviews I've ever conducted. That story just appeared in the news a couple of hours ago. I don't think that clarified much, uh, but it certainly showed this is a deeply interesting story and we'll be, we'll be following it. Don't quite understand it, but we'll bring you more when we find out. Hi, I'm Adam Conover, host of Adam Ruins Everything. But you probably know that because you've recently seen me on billboards, on talk shows, and in tweets. Fun coincidence? Nope. Sure, let's, uh, let's do this guy Humanist Report. Let's raid Humanist Report and see what's up with this person. Meanwhile... He's not lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> no, why? <laughs> fuck you, chicken. Now I have to use my health. <gasps> the chicken! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? The chicken killed me. Because I expected it to be really hard. The rooster just killed me. I, if the roosters kill me again. No! Oh god. Oh no, the rooster killed me! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, the rooster's the hardest boss in this game. So in this area, it's like, well, am I gonna inadvertently stumble in some area where this OP mini boss is gonna fuck me up? A few moments later. Grab attacks. Oh no, something's gonna grab me. Oh no! <laughs> no way, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh man, oh man, oh man, come on. Oh, he grabbed- No, no! Oh. <laughs> Oof. This is so nerve-wracking! Oh no, you got me! I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh no, 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 fuck. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh no! It's in hit me. Oh no, 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 no! I got backed into a corner. Oh no. Oh, the pain. Oh no, 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 please. Oh no! <laughs> No. <laughs> Fuck! Th listen, I'm gonna call it before I even face him. On this this run right here, I'm taking him down. I'm winning. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> My prediction was wrong. I will say that this time, I definitely, definitely, I'm gonna get it. Oh no! <laughs> okay, hear me out. I know that the last time I said that was the time, this time I feel like it's it, this is the actual time I'm gonna beat him. The last time, it just, it didn't feel right. This time it feels right. <laughs> fuck this shit. Came in this fucking room and everything went fucking bad.
Okay, so those last times when I said I was 100% sure, I was just kidding. This time, this is actually the time when I'm gonna beat him. I was just joking the last time. Can we get a prayer chain going in the chat? A prayer chain. Ooh, I got almost got greedy. Ooh. So close. Got him! What did I say? I, I told you I was gonna beat it this time, and I was correct.